Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, we, we are going to look at Docker Stack and how to create your uh, Docker Stack, how to deploy your services using Docker Stack. And we've been looking at the Docker Swarm in the last two videos. So the first video was about how to uh, deploy, how, how to set up your Docker Swarm cluster um, using Docker Machine, Docker Swarm in it and so on. And in the next video, we saw how to uh, deploy services docker service create uh, docker service remove and so on and in this video let's look at uh, the docker stack command so stack is a way to uh, it's like a manifest for kubernetes where you can specify uh, all the services that you want all the applications and how do you want to expose it and the configuration secrets and so on so everything is done by stack so basically you need to write a compose file docker compose file and then you can use docker stack to uh, deploy your compose file basically in the compose file you will have all the uh, containers that you want to start uh, different servers that you want to start you can define networks volumes and so on um, so that's what we'll be seeing in this video okay docker stack so what i've got um in for this video is i've got three docker machines uh, that has been deployed using docker machine binary docker machine ls so i've got three machines node one node two node three they're all deployed using the docker machine command so they are uh, running docker runtime version 19.03.5 and i'm going to make node one as the manager for this swarm cluster so let me copy that ip address and i'm going to log into node one docker machine ssh node one and i'm going to do docker swarm in it minus minus advertise address is 192.168.99.114 okay so that's done and i'm going to copy this command here and i'm going to run this on the other two nodes uh, basically to join those two nodes as worker nodes to this swarm cluster okay so docker machine is a such node 2 and then run that command okay so now this node has joined the worker node sorry the swarm cluster and now docker machine ssh node 3 and run the command and we've joined this node as well to the swarm cluster okay so docker machine ls we've got three machines all the commands needs to be run on the docker manager node uh, which is node 1 so you need to log into that node and then run docker commands but what i'm going to do is uh, this is my host machine here and i'm going to use this command docker machine n node one and then run this command so basically what i'm doing here is i'm using the docker binary from my host machine but i'm interacting with the docker runtime on node one if i do docker node ls so we have in our swarm cluster we have three nodes and node one is the uh, manager node okay so now how do we deploy uh, a stack docker stack ls we don't have any stacks at the moment docker stack what we can do ls we can docker stack deploy remove ps services and so on so first we need to create a docker compose file let's create a simple docker compose file vi docker compose dot yaml and bear in mind you have to be using version 3 of the docker compose so version is 3 services i'm going to call it web service and image let's use nginx image and i'm going to expose port 8080 to port 80 inside the container so that's a very simple um, docker compose file and we haven't specified the number of replicas which i will show you um, after this uh, example so now it's just a simple nginx container exposing the port 8080 um, and binding that port 8080 to port 80 inside the nginx container so that's a very simple docker compose file save that file so now i'm going to deploy this uh, stack docker stack deploy minus minus compose file docker compose dot yaml so that's our docker compose file and name of the stack just give it any name my nginx creating networks creating service okay cool docker stack 
ls so we can see here um, the name of the stack is my nginx it has got one service which is the web service if I do cat um, docker compose dot yaml so we've got one service which is the web service here and it's running docker stack ls docker stack what other commands we've got uh, we've done ls let's look at ps list the task in the stack and then list the services in the stack let's do those commands docker stack ps name of the stack okay so you can see here the list of tasks so there is one task that's currently running which is running on node one um, it's running running for 27 seconds cool so that's the idea of the docker container it's running on node one okay so that's the manager node and it's running on node one okay docker stack services my nginx so it's showing the service uh, the service is web and the stack name is my nginx and this, the type of service is replicated we saw in the previous video uh, about the replicated service and the global service so replicated is you specify the number of replicas in our docker compose file we didn't specify any replicas so it's just one replica at the moment and uh, the other option is the global uh, mode which is like a daemon set in kubernetes that's all running fine it's running on port 8080 okay so how do we access this so this is very similar to node port in kubernetes so you can access this nginx docker machine ls so you can access this uh, nginx application from any of the node node 1 node 2 node 3 using the ip address and on port 8080 right so it doesn't have to be on node 1 um, although the, the container is running on node 1 it you should still be able to access the uh, the nginx application from any node for example if I go to node 2 copy the IP address and do a curl colon 8080 there we go welcome to nginx so that's the nginx welcome page I can also show you in the browser colon 8080 so basically we are accessing it from node 2 you can also access it from node 3 same page you can also access it from node 1 which is uh, 114 cool so everywhere it's working fine um, so as I said it's very similar to node port and you can access it at the moment it's running on node 1 but still you should be able to access it from any of your nodes all right so now let's say if you want to run two replicas of this container two replicas of this uh, nginx container let's first remove the stack docker stack remove my nginx that's gone docker stack ls we don't have anything okay so now let's uh, update our docker compose file which is where you specify the replicas vi docker compose and i'm going to say uh, deploy colon replicas 2 that's it save the file and then do docker stack deploy the same file creating service creating network and now if i do docker stack ls one service docker stack ps my nginx now we can see uh, we've got two containers two replicas of nginx running on node 2 and node 3 all right so now we should still be able to access it from any machine docker machine ls let's say the containers are running on node 2 and node 3 but i'm gonna go to node 1 because it's like a node port service curl colon 8080 and you can see here you can access the page so that's how you um run a replicated uh, service with the number of replicas and if i do docker stack um, services my nginx you can see it's replicated now it says it's running two replicas cool docker stack ls docker stack ps my nginx so the two containers are running on node 2 and node 3 let's say um, I want to drain this node node 3 docker node drain sorry docker node update 
minus minus availability drain node 3 so I'm just draining the node and you will see this part this um, container will get rescheduled to some other node it will be rescheduled to either node 2 or node 1 let's do that and do docker stack ps so now we can see uh, it's shut down the one that was running on node 3 was uh, drained and it it is now rescheduled to node 1 and is ready and it's not running but it's ready so now it's running so that's how you uh, drain a particular node so if you want to uh, make it available again set it to active docker node ls okay cool um, so that's docker stack and how you deploy the uh, compose file to your swarm cluster so hope you found this useful if you've got any questions let me know and i will see you all in my next video bye bye